Hi, so welcome to 3 Minute Maths. In this particular uh, video, we're going to be looking at solutions to inequalities. So this is uh, usually an AA star uh, type grade question. And the way that it will be presented will be something like minus 3 is less than or equal to x, which is also less than 2. And you look at it and think, Oh, I don't know where I'm going to start with that. Well, it's fairly straightforward, providing you follow some of the, the little kind of rules that you need. So, one of the ways that uh, perhaps you can look at it is if it's a number line, then what we do is we have these two values. And what we're looking for is the solutions to x between those two values. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll start there at minus 3, then minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, uh, there we go. So that's minus 3 through to positive 2. Um, and one of the ways that you can look at it is that uh, if you draw a line between these two values, um, and if you've got a circle at both ends, what we generally tend to do is we mark this as a closed circle. Okay. In other words, is that this inequality includes the minus 3 value. If it's open, it doesn't include it. So in other words, x is less than 2. So in other words, it's not 2, it's less than 2. Now if it's not 2 and less than 2, then we leave it as open. In this particular case, minus 3 is equal to x. So the value of x could be minus 3, so we leave that as closed. So in other words, to solve this, we look at what they call integer solutions. And this is really uh, the way that a question would be worded to you. So integer, integer, integer solutions are basically solutions which are whole numbers. Um, so whole numbers in this particular case would be minus 3, minus 2, Minus 1, I can include minus 3, as we've said before, because it's closed. Uh, 0, 1, but not 2, because 2 isn't included, because the value of x is going to be less than 2. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do have a look at some of the other videos in the series, and also some of the applications of uh, inequalities which I cover in some of the other videos, which are a little bit longer than three minutes. I hope that's been helpful. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.